Welcome to the Triflix First Impressions Couch. Oh, I'm Cole. Man. I'm David. Yeah, welcome to the couch, man. We are here to briefly speak about the Mac Studio. Uh, this was just announced yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're watching it, the event was on the 8th. I no. had to think about that for a second. Um, yeah. We here at Triflix, um, we love to check out new products, especially uh, when it comes to Apple. Uh, we use a lot of Apple products in here. Um, David here is using his M1 Pro 13 mm-hmm. inch with the touch bar. The tiny boy. The tiny boy. Yep. And I've got a 16 inch M1 Max macbook pro chunky boy it's it's very heavy especially with this leather case because we have this gear these are things that we use for filming for photo editing for a bunch of our different projects graphical type programs um this is a this is a big deal for us uh we 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 pay a lot of attention to these things because they make a huge difference in our workflow and all we're trying to do is continually up our efficiency level so with that being said uh let's talk about this thing it's a it's a chunky boy yeah. I don't know how I feel about the looks, not going to lie. That's I think that's my my biggest qualm with the whole product. So I figured we'll start with the con first. Yeah. Well. <laughs> what do you think? I'll say I predicted this on the podcast. Supposedly. So in only the MacBooks are the wrong big answers. I think they're going to make the Mac Mini bigger. <laughs> so I, I did. I watched um, Snazzy Lab's video previously. He was talking about how there's a whole bunch of wasted space in the original M1 variant of the Mac Mini. Since I just saw that video on him making it smaller, I was like, what if they made the Mac Mini bigger? <laughs> and they did that. <laughs> my my favorite part is they come out with the Mac Studio, mm-hmm. and it's essentially a double-stacked Mac Mini. Yep. I think the measurement is 3.7 inches tall. Yeah. And they kept talking about how perfectly it would fit under any monitor. And the only monitor they showed it under was the one they also announced, which is the uh, what the Studio Display. Yep. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, they're like, oh, it fits perfectly underneath the monitor. Well, I can tell you this much. I don't think there's 3.7 inches under my monitor currently. Yeah. <laughs> and it's no, it's thick. I mean, I've seen pictures of this. We actually used the AR tool on the website, on Apple's website, to see what this thing looked like in real life. And it was huge. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, not to say that they're comparing it to the Mac Pro, the cheese grater Mac. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely smaller. Mm-hmm. So I'll give them that much. There's a lot of power uh, in this in this device, but I expected a little bit more from Apple when it came to design. Now, did you know this? The front I/O is two USB-C ports and an SD card reader. On the base model variant, those two USB-C ports are non-Thunderbolt. Yeah, I did notice that, and I was kind of disappointed. But I guess they have to cut corners for the lower model to make the the higher end model more attractive with its ultra processor oh yeah well before we get to that point like (laughs) you're talking about base you know base model lower model higher model the base model starts at two thousand dollars 1999 with that being said the the next version up with the ultra the new chip is four thousand dollars so there's a there's a two thousand dollar price difference in between there yep and that's also the difference between a 512 ssd and a one terabyte Mm mm-hmm Back to the processor, what makes this interesting is that they put the M1 Max, which is the same exact processor I have in my laptop here. Yeah. This variant is missing. And this is the processor that they're using in the studio. Mm-hmm. So we're thinking maybe there's a little bit of shuffling going around with the products. Um, yeah. And they're trying to allocate those processors. Uh, now, this is also the processor that they're using to essentially double that makes the new processor, which is the M1 Ultra. Yes. So for those of yes. you who are not following me here, we have the M1, which is the base. We have the M1 Pro, next level up. We have the M1 Max, and that there were supposed to be two variants of that. And yeah. then they have the Ultra, which is two Maxes squished together. Yep. I know that's a lot. <laughs> My theory behind it was that they're just trying to cut down on all the variants that they're actually producing. Uh, they've yes. probably sold enough now to figure out what's actually selling and what's not. And so they're just cutting the ones out that people don't want and making more of the ones they do want. Or they just want you to buy the more expensive ones. Also, while we're talking about things disappearing, yeah, this replaced the 27-inch iMac. It's gone. Which was completely glazed over during the event. Yeah, they don't it like to exist. talk about things that just go poof. <laughs> right. They, I don't know if you can see behind us well enough, but there are two 27-inch iMacs in this office currently. Mm-hmm. And this is a product we really like. Um, yep. It's had good longevity. Uh, it's worked really well for our workflow. So we were a little sad to see that. And it raises the barrier to entry in that with uh, Apple now. Basically, they just separated out the all-in-one 27-inch. Yep. And then they made it cost 
more. $1,600. So if you bought a base uh, Mac Studio, and then you also bought uh, the just regular old new, uh, you know, studio monitor, be $3,500, $3,600 into it. You're getting up there. Well, the problem I mean, is if you buy the 21-inch iMac, right? Yeah. Your base M1. So now we're talking. There's a there's a large yeah. difference in performance, and there's there's kind of this middle portion that's left out. We won't talk a ton about the the studio display today. Um, it's it's less of something that we're interested in, to be honest. Uh, I will tell you this: it's a 5K display. The mm -hmm. specs are almost exactly the same as the 5K Ultrafine LG monitor that is yeah. certified being sold through Apple Store. The difference in display is just 100 nits of brightness. Yeah. So. Again, I, you got to make some decisions there on what you want. You might be able to use the old pre-2015 iMacs that go for about $600 as external displays. They uh, had a piece oh. of software that used to work for them, and then they got rid of that software because why Why would you need a $600 monitor laying around when you can buy their brand new $1,600 one? It's this true. is true. Why not give Apple more of your money? <laughs> so there are people will buy it, of course, but it's just not yeah. on our radar. It's interesting, but that's about it. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go back to the studio, though. Let's talk a little bit more about the I.O. Um, you got four Thunderbolt 4 USB-Cs. Uh, the only nice thing is it does come with 10 gigabit Ethernet. Yes. Straight, you know, straight from them, uh, mm -hmm. built in. There's no difference in price. Uh, there's HDMI. It's and not 2.1 HDMI. It's not 2.1, so which they, they just chipped hate. me here too as well. They just don't know. <laughs> It's <sighs> unfortunate. Yeah. They're saving it for the, for the Mac Pro when they make the cheese grater with an M1. They want to punish you for not using the USB-C ports. True. Is, I think. <laughs> this is true. They're like, use Thunderbolt. Come on. Come on. Use the future. And we still got two USB-As. Yeah. So just in case you got something lying around that doesn't take a C, you don't have to use an adapter, which is mm -hmm. kind of odd for them to not push you into. <sighs> yeah. I honestly probably would have taken two more Cs, though. I would have. So anyways... It's something new in the lineup. It's very interesting. You know, I think I think it'll sell a lot. I definitely do. I mean, it's something that we've considered now. I mean, for to get a package that's essentially about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars cheaper than what I paid for my laptop, and then being able to go ahead and use a display, use whatever peripherals you want for it, uh, you might already have this stuff lying around. So yeah. now you've saved the money. Um, I do agree. Tristan said something when it launched should have been fifteen hundred dollars. I don't disagree with that. That would have been a great starting point, but I think they've got something planned for that middle section. I'm interested to see what that is. What do you think it is? There is a Mac Mini refresh uh, due. At least that's what people believe. Um, after seeing this, I don't believe in that as much. Um, I'm still one that believes. I think that they're going to do it. Uh, they will do a 27 inch iMac that comes with an uh, an M1. Yeah. That'll fill that middle gap because uh, all they offer currently is the 21 inch. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to... It's weird for them to have f four different processors for yes. the M1. I wonder if they're going to axe one out since they've already done this. I don't know. It's interesting. I know. I'm interested to see where yeah. it goes. Um, like they, I said, if they would have just made a cooler enclosure, I would have been completely sold. Um, mm -hmm. Not that I'm in the market because I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call that a day. Uh, but yeah, no, I uh, think initial impression-wise, it's interesting. Going to be kind of cool to look out for. Um I had final thoughts from David over here, then I'll wrap us up. Uh, I'm excited, especially with the server side of things. I know that a lot of data centers love the mini because it's tiny, and now they've made it double wide. <laughs> and so I'm curious. I like that, double yeah, wide. Double wide. <laughs> uh, double wide <laughs> the, mini. <laughs> oversized load <laughs> banner put on the side of it. Um, I think it's a great step. With, with the architecture they did, like just adding, like, what if we put two of them in it? It was like, Wow. Good job, Apple. You thought of it, uh, which is not an original thing. A lot of other chip manufacturers have been doing it. Yes. They did not invent this. And Apple is actually co coincidentally missing from a lot of like the Intel, AMD, like kind of packed of like this type of design. Yes. So yep. I wonder if they were working on this before that happened or they just want to be stingy. Yeah. <laughs> Neither one would uh, surprise yeah. me. Well, cool. Well, hey, David, thanks for uh, sitting down with me and talking mm -hmm. about the uh, the new Apple news. And like I said, stuff. hopefully this helps you out in like a purchasing decision, or maybe you just got some information that uh, you know gave you gave you some more thoughts on the product line and uh, 
you know, gave you some inspiration yeah. to go out there and check it out. So yep. stay uh, tuned. We may get our hands on one there's sometime. A, there's a possibility. There's a possibility. <laughs> you never know. We love <laughs> spending money. We'll keep you on our toes. <laughs> <laughs> well hey thanks for watching subscribe like do all the things because we're gonna do more mm. of this stuff